Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is George Grishin, and I'm going to talk to you about insurance. I'm going to speak to you about insurance. The thing I love, the type of activity I absolutely adore, I've spent most of my life in insurance. Um, I came to an insurance company in the center of Moscow, Russia, in August 1984, that is 36 years ago. And since then, I never had a single sad or dull day in insurance. We always do something interesting. So my idea, the idea of this channel or a set of videos, self lectures, is actually to try to share with you my love for insurance and probably also to share with you my knowledge of insurance. 36 years uh, is a lot, believe me. Especially that I first worked, all right, all these 36 years, I worked in marine insurance, then in aviation, then in non-marine, which was property. And all this time, insurance and reinsurance, mostly international. My geography wasn't that much as far as geographic points were concerned. Moscow, six years, London, 21 years, and now Denia, Spain, Costa Blanca, eight years, with the possible uh, transfer to Valencia in Costa Blanca in uh, Spain in September. But um, that's what the insurance gives you, especially marine or international insurance. I've traveled. I've traveled a lot. The fantastic countries of the Orient, Kazakhstan, Morocco, Iran, Uzbekistan, Bukhara is one of my most favorite cities of this world. I covered all former Yugoslavia. I can tell you the difference between, for instance, Bosnia and Herzegovina, between Montenegro and North Macedonia and actual Macedonia in Greece. So it happened that in, uh, in Europe, I've only got two countries to visit. I don't know why I've never been to Malta and why I've never been to Iceland. All the rest, starting from uh, Albania and finishing with uh, whatever it will be in the alphabet in uh, Europe, I visited. Of course, I visited the most important countries of the world. I'm talking India, China, USA, Cuba. I lived in Cuba. And then as far as former Soviet Union, of course, I'm Russian by origin, and I'm specialist on that part of the world, Eastern Europe and former Soviet Union. Former Soviet Union connected, uh, consisted of 15 countries, and I visited 15 and two halves because Transnistria and Abkhazia are not fully recognized countries, but they are there. So I visited 15 former Soviet republics, which are now independent countries. I worked really seriously on a day by day basis, and still working in Russia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Latvia, Lithuania. Uh, what Belarus I love, um, Moldova, uh, Georgia, Azerbaijan, and so long and so forth. It's fascinating. As we know that uh, probably COVID, the quarantine things will change our insurance industry forever. Who knows? The basics will be there. And the basics are to be a good insurer, to be a, to be a good specialist in insurance, you have to know basically two things, theory and practice. Nice and simple. Theory means that many books. Practice means that many books and also quite a few years. So let's start with the basics. Theory. What? Gosh, what could be written about insurance theory? Lots of interesting things. Because it actually starts a thousand years ago. The first written marine insurance policy, which is still kept, is dated something like 1340s. Well, 600 years ago, 700 years ago. And that was insurance, marine insurance, of course, from Genoa to Brugge, Bruges. Okay, so well, we are talking the theory, which is most, well, I would say it's mostly developed, all right, okay, it's reached a very high level of development in Germany, and in England and Britain. I'm English speaking specialist. Yes, I speak Russian. Yes, I read German, French, Spanish, Italian. I live in Spain. I speak Spanish. 
qui hablo español. Certo, però, certo, in italiano. But my main language is, of course, um, English has been for the last 30, 36 years, so I'm going to speak with you about insurance theory in English. And insurance practice. We don't exist in vacuum. Yes, when you're trying to insure your car, your home, or your next voyage, if they let us go out from here, uh, you're using internet, and that's, you know, not the people's uh, insurance. You're only looking at figures, you're only looking at internet pages, and so forth. For us, who work in corporate insurance, or reinsurance, it's a bit different, because we have to know real people who stand behind a business, who stand behind a ship, an aircraft, a helicopter, a hotel, and so forth. Who we? First of all, let's start from the very beginning. The client, insured or assured, or if it's an insurance company, reinsured. Then intermediary, myself, I'm a broker. A broker, an agent, or however you call him. We are Lloyd's brokers. We, meaning my company, Oxford Insurance, and my dearest partners, Barry Pierce and Samson Akanda, with whom I've been working for 25 years. My wife, Katharina Grishina, with whom I've been working for 23 years in insurance, and quite a few others. Tatiana Babko in Kiev, Maxim Shenchenko in uh, St. Petersburg, Yuri Grishan in Kiev again, so on and so forth. So anyway, we are intermediaries, brokers, or agents. And then you have the insurer or reinsurer. The insurance company, a cooperative, which is, could be, for instance, a club, or Lloyd Syndicate, which is not even a company. It's a very interesting structure. But not only these three persons all really participate in the process, but there are lots of others. To understand how much an object costs and how well it is protected against possible fire, theft, the earthquake, an insurer or a, the insured or ourselves employ a surveyor. A surveyor evaluates the risk and a surveyor probably could also act as a valuator to put a price, to put a valuation in the property. Then you are talking about surveyor when something wrong happens. It could be called assessor, surveyor, but it's a person who arrives in the middle of the night when a ship is actually put on shore damaged put in a port in a refuge port, port of refuge where, where, where it's damaged, when the fire is put down of a hotel, a warehouse, and so on and so forth. So this is severe. Then if we have some problems or some misunderstanding between the three parties, we are employing lawyers. Of course, we're employing lawyers. And then we also need lots of other experts. So insurance profession is really a whole world of people who love this world, and was spread around the world. My, one of my hardest tasks was to find a surveyor and uh, an English-speaking lawyer in Hong Kong about 50 years ago on uh, uh, Easter night, from Saturday to Sunday, uh, when our vessel, unfortunately, uh, was sunk by a bigger vessel and uh, we lost 14 member, crew members. But the main, the important thing was actually to find somebody to protect our interests there. There was a collision between the vessels. Okay, so there's lots of people spread all over the world and they all love insurance, theory and practice. And that's what I'm going to talk here, theory and practice of insurance. This is my first installment. Thank you very much for your attention. See you again, bye.